Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Just recently I've had more requests for information about fitting inverters, cable size, running things from leisure batteries, how many leisure batteries do I need and all the rest of it. And this is one of the most difficult questions to answer. A lot of people do answer them on YouTube but you've really got to understand the basics first and what I'm talking about is how much power things consume in terms of wattage and voltage and amps and um, what I'm going to start with is let's take something basic let's go for a 1.5 kilowatt toaster that you plug in at home. The formula to work out your amperage consumed is your wattage in watts divided by your voltage will give you the current in amps. Now a 1.5 kilowatt toaster is 1500 watts which is 1.5 kilowatt. So let's do that. So one five zero zero watt watts, and the voltage at home is normally uh, 240 volt. 240 volt. So with a calculator. on one five zero zero whoops I make that again one five zero zero divided by two or O equals six point two five so that's 6.2 amps that's just one appliance okay you want to run that in your motorhome assuming your inverter is 100% efficient you can apply the same again so 1 5 0 0 watts now you're dividing it by your battery voltage, which is 13.8 volts. So, let's do that again. 1500 zero, zero, divided by 13.8 equals 108.6 amps 108.6 amps so just running a 1.5 kilowatt toaster on the mains at home would take 6.2 amps so it's not a problem Running that toaster in your motorhome via an inverter, 108 amps. That's a lot of current. So the cable that's to your inverter and to your batteries has to be quite thick, as you can imagine. Now then, the inverters are only 90% efficient and I'll show you next what I'm referring to now then same applies this gives you your power rating and current and voltage for running at home now if you've always wondered why the inverter 
as a cooling fan is because it's only 90% efficient. So to get to operate your toaster on your inverter you actually have to put in nearly 120 amps and equivalent to 1650 watts to get out 1500 that's because it's only 90% efficient your inverter so you have 150 watts loss heat dissipation and loss in cables inside the inverter so you're, you're putting in almost 120 amps just to run one toaster now if you've then got a microwave you can apply the same principle again one of the problems with inverters and people have them blow up in their van is your wife or your partner might be down one end of the van drying a hair with a hair dryer which could be 1400 watts and you've got 120 amps being drawn into your inverter and you forget you're not on hookup you're running on the inverter and they plug in a kettle a toaster even switch the microwave on or something else and if you switch on a hairdryer which is 1500 watt and you switch on a toaster or a kettle you can imagine you could be up to three kilowatt very easy which means that's 240 amps being drawn from your battery and the power in the inverter will double as well because it's only 90% efficient so you've got 300 watts of heat in your inverter and you might have something else on that you might have a water heater you might have your TV you might have some lights running from the inverter that is a tremendous amount of amps flowing in your cables and if you're not familiar with all of this you, you really need probably six laser batteries to be safe and a five kilowatt even bigger inverter you're talking about masses of power just to try and run devices we don't do this you know it's you know very small mode time it's not worth having it unless you've got a hundred watt or 500 watt inverter just for charging things that you need to you know use a gas kettle use your gas for heating you know cook using a steamer on a single ring, gas ring you know just think about the power and um, thanks for watching this video it's just a simple one and it might help answer a few people's questions and you have to choose your cabling for a worst case scenario it's no good putting 100 amp cable 100 amp cable in to your batteries and inverter if you're going to run four or five kilowatt so thanks for watching please subscribe and like home is where you park it please subscribe and like